Hey guys, my name is Snurpanash, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Since the last time I posted a video, I have played about 18 to 19 hours of this game. See, I really love explorer type games. A lot of people have been complaining about this particular game, but like, there's just something really exciting about going out and exploring different star systems and discovering all these different creatures and upgrading your system and then continuing to go and go and go and I, I don't know, I'm just trying to find a really good ship at this point but I haven't found any crash ships in the last two systems I was in so I guess this particular video what I'm gonna go for is to find a crash ship with possibly 20 spaces because I still have only 18 <laughs> so this is pretty Are these all bad guys? These are all bad guys. I just thought they were just random ships when I spawned in. Yeah, you wanna go, bro? I will take you out. Gotcha. Alright. Okay. So first things first is get you started on a little battle here. Important thing is to always keep Oxide on you, so you can recharge those at any time. Oh, there's a lot of dudes. Alright. Here's to helping these guys out. Gotcha. There's 21 ships? How the heckity heck? Am, am I supposed to defeat 21 ships? Get your butt back here, dude. I need to keep your butt. Nope. Yep, get Shrek. Oh, this is a fucking nightmare. Okay. Whoa. I'm feeling like I just need to go to the nearest planet because there's no freaking way. I'm gonna be shot out of the sky because there's 19 of these dudes. You barely I'm gonna land on this moon, get some resources, then probably go back up. Destroyed 20 starships. Awesome. I am a troublemaker, apparently. By the way, you can't crash into a planet. I've had a couple of friends being like, oh, I've been so nervous, you know, about my about going to land and everything because I don't know if I'll like actually like crash and it's like nope it automatically steers you away from it. You can crash into asteroids but you cannot crash into the planet <laughs> so that's good. Dead waste. Oh there's nickel on it though. Sentinels are regular so they'll probably attack me only if I destroy something. But they're not hostile which is a relief. It's kinda slightly hot on this planet. They're probably like firestorms or something. Eventually. <sighs> I need a better shield thing. I did finally get an Atlas Pass, which is awesome. You seem to do the same thing. And that one's cheaper. So, Heridium and Karite Sheets, which is just iron, basically. Hi, mister. What's up? Oh, you're super cute. What's your little tail? Yes. Come here. You get points every time you upload this kind of thing, so... Oop, I found a, a friend, apparently. Hi, you're violent. Where are you? What type of storm? Oh, it's all of a sudden 124 degrees. Let's get back into the ship. Oh, look, somewhere we can sell. Oh, but there's still a storm going on, of course, so it's a bit of a disaster. I want some of my gold, and I want some of my gek charm. I wonder if there's anything big on this planet. I mean, like big creatures, you know? Be okay for now. Oh, oh. Wow, my thermal protection is dropping like super fast. It's good to know that there's actual like aggressive fauna on this one, because I really don't want to get involved in that. Yeah, yeah, awesome. I also need some of this too. So something people don't seem to know is that you can actually take um, one of the grenades and you can dig into the ground which is pretty awesome especially if you need to hide away somewhere yeah see you can make your own shelter basically if you can't find a cave is you can use those grenades to just build it up so I'm gonna wait till my shield gets back up for a second this is a nasty planet I do hope that they are actually going to add building into this game because that would probably make my day. Like, 
it was a survival sandbox game and building is one of the things that I really look forward to in this type of thing and while there's crafting available you can't make any like houses or anything like that or anything creative so oh, look at that this is like it's not lagging on the like the game itself but the recording because this game crunches so much like space so much memory oh the geck hi hey buddy I like your hat. I have caught the traitor red-handed. Products and elements are pouring out of the facility storage vaults and into his own inventory. <laughs> Above the gentle buzz of embezzlement that now surrounds us, I can <laughs> hear life forms terrified gulps. Looks me straight in the eyes and makes a proposition. <laughs> Don't expect me <laughs> to be forgiving with that. You were committing a crime. That's already over there. I can get back up there. I have a pretty good job back. So I'm gonna get shanked while I'm down here. Because there's obviously a lot of really hostile critters. Also, you get more from mining like this instead of... Oh! There's a critter somewhere. Where is he? Oh, I see you. Yeah, he's aggressive. He wants to take me out, but he can't get to me, so we're safe right here for now. As long as he can't jump fly. He looks like a prey mantis of some kind. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, he's so angry. Yeah, he's bitey. He sure is bitey. Oh, is that what this is? The 124 degrees Celsius? To get all the way up in the back of the shelter to get it to stabilize. Yikes. So, I'm gonna grab my ship. Back up to space, darling, let's go. This planet is too hostile to get any resources from. Alright, that is the first time that this game has crashed on me in the 20 hours I've played. So, yeah, I crashed as I was going through the atmosphere. Oh, wow, that does not look like a fun planet to be on, but I'm going anyway. Let's go. Look at that. Oof. It looks like a poison planet, or just a waste. Reactive dust. Contaminated planet, so it's radioactive? Yeah. Oh, hi, Gek. Well, this is a new little place. Never seen this before. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're so creepy. The traitor has been expecting me. It points to itself, opens its arms wide, and beams pleasantly. Then it points to me and mimes concern for my safety. It then pecks my ex at my exosuit, indicating that I can make my journey more bearable. The gives me the next exosuit technology blueprint. Sweet, thank you. I already knew it. Thank you, though. Oh, look at the creatures. Oh, that's weird looking. What are those? Oh, I got a milestone. What do I get? Is it like an alien one? Yeah. Met 30 aliens. Sweet. Hi. You look cute. Look at you. You look like a pupper. Hi, you guys are adorable on Earth. I just, I just really want to know. I want to know. Oh, it's a, it's resources. Thank you. If I don't get shot. Look at all y'all. All in one place. You guys buddies. Little herd. I gotta get back inside in a second, but I just wanted to see this guy. Look at your asparagus tail. It's so cute. I'm just trying to find a way in to this building. Or like a way into the building. Okay, there we go. Yikes. Toxin suppressor sigma. Ooh, that will actually really help. <laughs> Is there still a storm out here? Whoa, yeah. <laughs> That wind was like immediate. All right, let's brave the storm outside, shall we? We gotta get all the way over here. Put my ship over. Hey, let's go back in. So I could probably find more of that rare element somewhere nearby, or anywhere on this planet, probably. Space anomaly not a, a, a signal detected. Okay, let's go to the space anomaly. The thing about this is that I need to find the entrance. There it is. Hola. That's gonna pull me. Ooh, that's a little bit high. <laughs> These guys are important. These guys are the guys that you get the Atlas pass from. And they have like a dimensional traveling orb, which is what I'm in right now. Because they keep 
they keep popping up in different galaxies with the same thing, and they are also... They belong to Atlas. There's this guy, and then there's Polo! Polo, hi, Mr. Gek! And they speak your language, too. Yun is this, Yun is that. A strange, sad way to live life, eh? Fill your pockets with them. We'll find out why they make all these worlds go around. Transmit wealth data. Most units have occurred level 5 or above. Accrued. My fear that Poe sees my units proves unfounded. Instead, they stare briefly at an incomprehensible graph, then guffaw as if they heard a joke. Blueprint for homing bolt adapter already known. Yeah, I knew that. Ooh, what's this? Shiny. It looks like somebody just smacked the keyboard for that first word. S. Kruitz Adam Mark 9. Alright. Yep, I'm, gra I'm grabbing it. I'm sorry. Alright, guys. Well, I'm gonna go to that last planet that I haven't been to yet. This system's the dead one. Makes me sad. What is this? Oh! There's good stuff on this planet, because look at the sentinels. Threatening. I have... No plants and no creatures, but there's certainly something. The outer edge burns at the hands of the Gek first spawn. Our enemies are broken. We are the extinguishers of hope. In our wake, we leave only the lamentations of the conquered. We fear nothing. Seek help with language, please. My knowledge of the Gek increases. Reward. Nice. It's funny because the Gek are heavily traders and the Vikings seem to be the warriors. But everything I see about regarding the knowledge stones um, with the Gek are like super aggressive and the Viking are different. And I don't know what to make of that. So my guess that there was valuable stuff on this planet was right. Because look at that. That does not look like something I'd run across on anything else. That's a Gravitino ball. Oh, I'm about to get shrinked. Up, 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 up. Yep, I know, I know, I know. That's exactly what happens every time. I get something rare. Let me recharge or reload. <laughs> Can I get to it in 25 seconds? Gotta go, gotta run really fast. The Gravitino balls are always found like wastelands mostly. I gotta be very careful with this because there they are. There's the guys that were after me. There's something over there. That's where I'll go. I've seen some incredible planets. I haven't found like a really tropical planet yet. What's that? Oh, aluminium. Okay. There's plenty of minerals on this one though. Who buddy, how far did I run away from my ship? Oh, a whole minute away. Great. Awesome. That's what I need, is to have all the sentinels in between me and my ship. Let's just make our way back to the ship, shall we? Might be a dead planet, but it's oddly beautiful. <laughs> Alright, we got one more thing to grab. If I have space. I do not have space. Can I step? Can I move that? Oh, we got aggressive. Aggressive dudes. I was gonna grab that, but um, that scanner dude was like, Hey, I'm gonna pester you a little bit more. Alright, so while I'm floating, can I install it yet? Whoa, there's a battle. What is that? It's copper. I don't usually what you find out here. I thought it was gonna be something rarer than that. I was like, oh, shiny. I wish I could dock with these ships. I'm gonna have to sell some things at the space station. No aliens here. Alright. And then I need microdensity fabric. Alright. I need two microdensity fabrics. Is there a microdensity fabric in here? Nope. I need a little bit more iron. So I might go out here and just... Pro oh, those are the same ship. Hi, dude. I just need iron. If you have any. I would like to see how much space you have. I don't have near enough. Yeah, perfect landing. <laughs> that so rarely happens to me. <laughs> Alright. Let's do radiation deflector theta. Be nice. It's not exactly for this planet, but I seem to run across radiation a lot, so it'll be useful for that. All right, y'all. I think that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Snurperdash, and I'll see you when I see ya. Snurp out.